Welcome back to Kyra Box, everyone. I'm Nicole. Today we are talking about jargon. Jargon that your patients do not understand. Uh, there's nothing inherently wrong about jargon. And actually, we've talked a little bit more about this topic on our blog, so I'll leave a link up here right now if you want to read a little bit more about this. But the main point is that there's nothing wrong with jargon. You have to use industry terms like all of these that I've written all over the board as part of your job. Uh, but know that you could be turning off some of your site visitors and some of your patients themselves if you are only using jargon and not explaining to them what it means because they'll feel like it's way over their head, don't know what's going on, I can't understand what you're saying on your website or on your blog or on your social. So today I compiled this big list of jargon that we hear, that we read, and that we see and Mostly this is just for you to have as a resource so that you know, um, okay, the outside world looks at this as jargon. So I'm not going to go through all of them, um, but take a peek here and I'll go through some of the key ones uh, that we hear quite often. Okay, so I want to start with this one, Atlas here. I think this is a big one because a lot of people come in with neck pain, right? But if you are using the term atlas, they're automatically going to think of the map. <laughs> so make sure you explain to them that you are not in fact talking about a map. Um, and that goes, I've, I've worked in other keywords, uh, jargon words, um, like thoracic vertebra, I think I have lumbar down here, vertebra in general. Just make sure that your patients know what you're talking about when you refer to those terms. Another big one is right here, adjustment. This is one that you use probably hundreds of times a day, right? So you probably don't even see it as jargon anymore. But to the first time site visitor, especially if it's the first time this site visitor is looking into chiropractic care in general, they have no idea what an adjustment is. So explain it. Make sure that you've made it clear. Try to um, explain in such a way that you don't make them feel stupid. You don't want that either. Um, and that's kind of where the fine art of explaining but not over explaining comes in. Another big one I think is DC and then over here I have CA. Um, and unless you're well tuned to the chiropractic industry, you probably don't know that DC stands for doctor of chiropractic. You're thinking, oh, Washington DC? So make sure um, that you reveal what you're talking about when you mention it. Then another uh, a number of jargon phrases refer to um, techniques that you would use. For instance, this Gonstead method, uh, where's another one that I have? Applied kinesiology, extremity adjustment, ART, make sure you explain and anytime you're using initials like this, I have PI, PD over here, SMT, explain what those are. Um, so some of the other terms that I think are important relate to chiropractic care in general, like maintenance care. What are you talking about when you are talking about maintenance care? And what about innate intelligence? Um, maybe you're not using it on your site, but if you use it while you're talking to somebody, make sure you explain what you're referring to. Or if you can, here's another option, you can not refer to this term at all, don't even say the word innate intelligence, instead just talk about the meaning. You don't have to have a specific word for it all the time, and sometimes your patients will appreciate that. Um, for the rest of these, I think I've covered a lot of them. Dynamic thrust, explain what that is, plantar fasciitis, spinal decay, these are all terms that that sounds scary if they don't know what they mean. Um, so explain it to your target audience on your digital properties and then explain it in person as well. Um, I mentioned earlier in this video that we talked about 
a little bit more in depth about jargon, except on our blog, we called ourselves out for jargon that uh, we as marketers use. And we don't want you to be confused by the jargon we're using when we use words like inbound marketing, offers, CTAs, uh, analytics, things like that. So if you are looking for an A to, C, A to Z guide of the jargon that we as marketers use, or if you have suggestions for things that you hear us using that we should be explaining or should be finding a different term for, let us know. Uh, you can do all that by heading to our blog. Again, I'll leave a link above. I don't know which corner it's in. And then below in the information box so you can get to it easily. Uh, we want to hear from you, so don't hesitate to reach out. But otherwise, we'll see you next Friday for another video. Bye.